the Peacocks. Today I'm going to be giving a makeup tutorial or a makeup review over the lovely brand also known as Snazaroo. It is a brand of face paint that I like to use in both my home stuff and in my Pokemon cosplays. Um, personally, this is my first makeup review, so please bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to do more. Um, please leave a comment or a you know, topics that you'd like me to review. Um, hopefully by then I'll have a few more that I can do. My next one will be over uh, Ben Nye's uh, liquid li uh, latex. I plan on sh uh, showing a difference. Um, personally, I kind of like it a little bit more, but we'll go ahead and get into that in the next video. Um, this video, however, is about Snazaroo, which is a brand of face paint that I like to use um, personally for my Homestuck cosplays. Like I said, um, Snazaru is kind of a, it, it's a face paint that is water-based. Um, personally, with that, um, you use water to activate it instead of it being an already infused cream where you can just smear on your face. Um, a little thing about this, um, I found this actually um, with a friend of mine who was in Salt Lake. Um, <clears throat> I was using Ben Nye for the longest time and they introduced me to Snazaru, which, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a little bit of a throat cold going on, um, <clears throat> that it was a lot easier to put on, you didn't have to put on as many layers and you didn't have to worry about smearing or drying out your skin as much. Um, I have been using this since Aridin, um, and personally it's lasted me a long, long time. Um, it's very light. Some good things about it, um, which is funny because before I get into that, it's funny because my very first cosplay um, of Homestuck, the very first time I used face paint was Cronus, where that friend used Ben Nye and showed me how to use Ben Nye. Um, personally, I didn't like it very much just because it was really cakey. But anyway, some good things about this makeup itself, um, it's very lightweight where you can barely feel it. It feels like your natural skin. Um, like I said, it's water-based, so it's super easy to use. Um, you just take the uh, top of your cake, eventually, put a little bit of water in there, and then you can dip your brush or your uh, sponge, whichever you use. It's friendly to both. I use brush, or I use foundation brushes. Um, and you can just go ahead, you don't have to use a prime. well, it's suggested that you should probably use a primer, but, um, personally you don't have to, you can just go straight into it. Um, also, like I said again, um, once you set it, another good thing about this, you can use baby powder to set it, and it will not affect the color. Um, don't ever do this. See? It comes off. And then with that, you can just apply it as so. Um, while I wait for this to dry, um, I'll show you. It does not come off. Um, put a little bit more on there. I know this is like really gross. I normally never do this with my makeup because I love my makeups. But as you can see, the gray is super light. Um, it's really easy to use. Really, see, you don't even have to use a whole lot. As we're Ben Nye, you have to cake it on there after layer after layer after layer. And you end up using the tiniest thing for so much less of a time as with Snazaroo. Um, while I wait for this to dry, I will show you even before it's set, it's really hard for it to come off. Um, unless you are using. <clears throat> unless you're using water. Um. Also, again, you can use baby powder, which I will show right here, right now. Just rub it on there. Um, by then, see, it doesn't even affect the color at all. Um, it'll leave it gray. The uh, baby powder does not affect the uh, color of the gray which is wonderful. Sorry, just making sure. Um, I look like I just smart a bunch of coke. Anyway, um, yeah, it's got like a lot of good qualities to it, which once you set it, none of it comes off at all. 
as where Ben and I have to use twice as much to set it to make sure that things are okay. Um, it's one of the better things about Snazzer that I really liked. Um, also the white, you don't have to cake on as much. Um, however, a few cons to the makeup that I've noticed. Um, again, like all face paint, you have to set it. You have to, you have to, you have to. Or you will have a bunch of cosplayers that are angry at you and pissed off because you just rub gray makeup all over their hard-earned work. Trust me, I've been in trouble for this. It's not fun. I've accidentally rubbed up on a friend's eye cosplay before that was all white. Um, yeah. Needless to say, they're not talking to me anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, again, to combat that con, you don't have to use a special face powder. You can use hairspray, which is also what I use, but I wouldn't suggest that. Um, it causes a lot of, you know, like a lot of people, you can get, like, face bumps, like what I'm getting. Um, that's also because I used hairspray and didn't put a lotion on it. Also with this, you should probably put lotion or moisturize your face before you use any type of uh, face paint because it'll leave your face super, super dry and it's not pretty. Um, it also, a lot of things I didn't really like about this is that it's easy to smear when it's wet, um, whether it's set or not. Um, and also, if you're doing the layers, it has to dry before you do it. Um, just because going back to the smear one wet, all oh, does this. See, and it's already wet again, and you can smear it around. See, it's not that hard. Um, however, to combat that, the water, without water, it won't come off. It's just like your normal skin. It's actually really, really nice. Um, another thing that I really, I, I like about it, but I don't, is if you're doing, say, a Homestuck cosplay, or if you're using grain white, for example, um, it's not really a good contrast. Um, the white, the gray is like a super light gray color, so it tends to leave not that big of a contrast. Um, yeah. So, it, it, it's better to use a mix between the gray, the Cavalier Gray from Ben Nye and the white from here. Or just, if you use a different type of snazzer, they have another thing called, uh, I, I think it's called the powder, um, where you mix black and white and you can make your own gray. Um, I would suggest doing that unless you just want to have not that much contrast and get, go for it, I don't care. Um, personally. <laughs> Well, I do care. That's why I'm making this video. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's what I feel on this uh, makeup. Um, it's super easy, easy to use. Again, this is Snazaroo. Um, I would suggest it for any cosplayer, whether you're a beginner or an advanced person. You don't even have to use layers. That's the beauty of this makeup. Um, is that it's super easy to use, super user friendly. So, I would suggest using Snazaroo over Ben Nye, or any type of cream, but that's my own personal opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. Um, write your comments in the below, subscribe, like me on Facebook, like me on Tumblr, I am Poppycock Cosplay, it was nice seeing you.